Hi, I'm Carrie Carlson, and this is a bit about painting an osprey. I meet with a group at the Field Museum in Chicago once a month to sketch, and although I usually try to go other places, I find myself so often in the bird division. There is such a wonderful collection, and I'm really enamored with birds. January of 2020, I found myself in front of this beautiful osprey on display. I did some sketches in my book, and I was teaching a class on field sketching coming up, and so I borrowed a number of pieces from the field museum to bring to that class. Um, squirrels and um, blue jay and an osprey I found, and I, since I had just drawn an osprey, I thought, ooh, I'm going to check that out. So I checked them out last win or winter of 2020 and returned three of the four cases, but I hung on to the osprey for a little longer because it wasn't due back yet and I thought oh I just really want to devote some time to studying it more closely and, and trying to draw it again. And then the pandemic hit and things shut down and the lending library reached out and said hey would you just hang on to that osprey mount, uh, keep it safe and when things are safely opening again then we'll collect it back from you. And I was like score! <laughs> I get to hang on to the osprey. And I was hoping for maybe just like a few extra weeks, um, but it turned out to be a lot of extra months that I had this crazy bird. Um, I got as far as some early sketches and I transferred my favorite sketch to a piece of good watercolor paper. And then I sort of put it on the back burner and uh, went about just like everybody else figuring out life uh, during a shutdown. And then in the fall of 2020, I uh, was contacted and asked if I'd consider participating in a bird exhibit. And I thought, ooh, what a perfect chance to get that osprey out and, and finish it up. And so I, I did just that. I spent some, some time right after the new year, um, just me and the bird <laughs> and a whole lot of watercolor. Now, I've got a ton of experience playing around with watercolor in my sketchbook, but I've done very few finished, more formal pieces and, um, and I'm super intimidated still by, by watercolor. And I do lots of things backwards or wrong, um, according to more traditional watercolor methodology. But um, I think as long as you get what you want, um, you're on the right track. I'm not a purist when it comes to things like this. So I started, you know, you saw it just a moment ago, laying in some really light layers, just to sort of get some of my jitters out and lay in some of the early form. And then spent some time on the, the eyes. I'm an eye first kind of animal drawer. I like to put them in right away so that the creature comes to life and I can help fill in the rest to bring, um, bring it to life for other people to see too. I made some huge mistakes with the eyes though. Early on they looked like fake taxidermy eyes. I was drawing too realistically from the mount and not using photo references enough and I realized that too late and so I had to do some magic with some gouache towards the end to bring the eyes back um, to be how they might actually look more realistically in a live osprey bird and not a taxidermy mount. <laughs> um, I, I felt for a while like my browns were getting a little flat and so I started layering complementary colors a la Peggy McNamara style and that was a big help. Um, spent a lot of time on the fish. I enjoyed painting the fish as much as the bird. I, I need to find more excuses to, to watercolor fish because that was really fun. So that's a little story about painting this beautiful osprey bird. I also learned a lot about them along the way. I'm especially in love with their crazy feet. They have barbed feet um, and they can turn their toes different directions to help grasp slippery fish, which I think is extra cool. So thanks so much and I hope you enjoyed learning about the process behind painting this osprey. We named her Astrid, by the way. <laughs> you can find more of my stuff on carriecarlsonart.com.